all of our work is going to be based on real life cases and ongoing industry shifts that you can read about in today's papers. And we're going to be working at the intersection between case and reality. So, for example, here we have to Herbert, he's this again. Volkswagen needs to change from a collection of valuable brands to a digital company that reliably operates millions of mobility devices worldwide. It is a completely different future for the company. So going back to the simulation, here is a couple of examples of what we call the company cards. In the simulation, you and your team will be starting out with these company cards. Here's GN, the automaker. Since 1921, GN has been one of the world's leading auto manufacturers, producing millions of cars per quarter. The company is well known for its impressive efficiency culture. The problem is, people aren't really buying cars anymore. Analysts have been crashing your stock. Clearly, it's time for a transformation. Your task, complete a transformation roadmap, identify future growth areas, digital, electric, autonomous, shared, flying, and reach a 50 billion market cap on the New York Stock Exchange. You have a small team, you have an opening cash balance, you have two business models, good luck. So this is one example of a company card. And in the simulation, you will be starting with one of several types. So your task, you are the management team. You have to turn your company around based on the company card that you get or you select. You are competing with up to six other teams. And they, yeah, let's be honest, statistically, they're probably better than you are. It is a highly competitive situation and a highly competitive environment. So how do we win? Well, it's pretty simple. The first team to hit 50 billion market cap company valuation on a publicly listed stock exchange without getting beat by the other teams first win. Sounds simple. Trust me, it's not. But how do we succeed? Now, that's a little bit more manageable in initially. So what we have done, having run hundreds and hundreds of hours of this simulation, is we've identified a few success factors. Number one, team collaboration. You need to make sure that your team is able to work well together. If you're not working well together, you're going to break down within the first two hours. Second, your strategic thinking. It's not so much about the strategic theory and the books and the models and the frameworks. It is how well are you able to see through the fog and successfully, successfully win by outthinking and outcompeting the others. Third, digital navigation. So we're going to be using a digital platform for our session called Miro, Miro.com. And most likely, most of you are quite comfortable working with digital whiteboards. In case you are not, in case you're not, you need to make sure to set up an account and log in and get comfortable working on Miro as a platform. Most importantly is really a collaboration and a connection of, of these factors. You have to be able to work smarter together than you were by yourself. Now, this is just like any other management team where you bring a group of different people with different ideas and different experiences, different backgrounds together, and they have to be smarter together. And that is how you succeed. And if you're successful, there's a fair chance that you'll also come out winning. So let's do a little bit of deep dive into the transform simulation. And I want to make sure that you get this so you can be prepared to win when we're working together. So some of the questions that we've been asking in the background development is, is how do we teach strategy and transformation differently? Now we can do this over, over weeks, we can do it over days. We also ask how can we develop more transformational capacities? How can we develop more transformational leaders? How can we align very diverse teams around what we call the 10 principles of transformation? And how can we help students like yourself really connect the different disciplines, strategy, transformation, finance, and team into one single framework. This is the environment we'll be working in. We're going to be using Zoom as a video platform. We're going to be using Mara as a collaboration platform. And you'll be working real time in your own workspaces collectively. 
So, quick recap, transform in 30 seconds. In transform, you guys take on the role of the new management team within an established company. Do <laughs> your job, transform the company, reach 50 billion market cap, and please avoid going bankrupt, please. Not as easy as it sounds though. This is based on real life insights on how transformation works, why it works, and why it doesn't work. You have to relive a lot of those experiences. You have to navigate a massive level of complexity. You have to make rapid fire decisions on strategy, investments, partnership, and outright hostility towards the other teams, if you so choose, because you will be competing. And you'll, over time, build up very different strategies, very different strategy paradigms, and also management attitudes and behaviors. First team to 50 market cap win. And along the way, you have to navigate this. This is the transform triangle. The transform triangle is really the key to unlocking transform. Continuously, you will be working on when should we do profits? Because there are plenty of chance to take more profits and build cash and build a strong balance sheet. But at the same time, you also have to invest into new business models and basically build the future opportunities of your company. And then finally, which is for many the most challenging part, how do we work with financial analysts? Financial analysts represent your shareholders and your investors. And they may not always be happy with your performance. Expect analysts to be challenging, tough, and demanding. And then you and your team, you will have to continuously, continuously adjust and align ar around these three areas. Should we focus on this axis? Should we focus on this axis? Or should we focus on this axis? Company card, quick recap. So we have different company cards. Here we have Car Wagon, Jetways, and Lifebook. You'll get a chance to choose. We have your roles. Very important. You need to step into these roles and you have to live these roles for the duration of the simulation. CEO. The CEO is responsible for the overall team performance. You need to be able to handle complexity and see through the fog and expect to work very closely with capital markets. CSO, the chief strategy officer, handles all aspects of strategy, business model, and a lot of the work that happens on the canvases. It's a big role. A lot of multitasking and expect to be doing a lot of the work along the way. CFO, very important. The CFO, the chief financial officer, is in charge of all aspects of finance, capital markets, investor relations, accounting, cash flow valuation methods, business model valuations, and overall company valuation. You don't need to master all of this, but it's good if you like to count. Now, just in case... Let's say that you are maybe just two people on the, on the team. Well, in that case, we bring the CEO and the CFO into the same role. Maybe you have four, even five people on your team. In this case, we have the innovation manager. We have the investor relation managers. And then we also we have board members. So you can easily have up to five people on your team. Now, what will you experience? Well, as you and your team take on the role of a new management team, you will be challenged, always under time pressure and time constraint, to develop a strategy and make strategic decisions. You will be exposed to strategic dilemmas, hostile competitors, capital markets, and all of the real-life factors that a management team normally has to deal with. A lot of people, they get overwhelmed. They function poorly as a team. They get stressed. They make bad decisions, they're unable to collaborate on strategy, and they're unable to beat the competition. This is completely by design. You may not like it, but this is how we have created it, because we are reliving the real-life experiences of hundreds of leaders that I've had a chance to work with over the years. It's an advanced simulation. We are going to test your strategic leadership skills in action. It's going to be fun, it's going to be demanding, and there's nothing about this that's going to be easy. 
Now, in terms of the outcomes, what we expect to see in terms of outcomes is better teamwork, more strategic leaders, stronger team alignment. You're going to learn how to use new strategy frameworks. You're going to learn new ways of thinking about strategy, ways that you probably haven't covered in class with, with uh, Professor O'Driscoll. But most importantly, at a personal level, you're going to start to really develop your own strategic thinking. And I'll guarantee you, these are skills that you can bring with you into any kind of role after you graduate.